Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon Dive. Daniel here. All right. Uh, in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at three little Games Workshop supplements that I have. And the first one here is Caverns of the Dead. And the number one reason that I bought this is because of this cover. And that is, of course, done by the always incredible Gary Chalk. Uh, this thing is just freaking awesome. I love it so much. It kind of encapsulates everything that I love about Gary Chalk. His line work, his expressive faces, uh, his skeletons. I think his, um, I think his art is really good at telling a story of capturing a moment. And this one right here is just incredible. So this box is pretty beat up. It's kind of held together with tape and all of that. But uh, let's see, this says, uh, so this was a set, a dungeon planner set, I believe. This is the only one I have. It's actually the only one I've seen. So each dungeon planner set contains a complete adventure setting for use with fantasy role-playing games such as RuneQuest, Dungeons & Dragons, or Warhammer. So I'm sure like most people know, maybe there's a few that don't, but Games Workshop, a white dwarf actually started off as, you know, as a magazine um, with supplements and fan-made material for uh, Dungeons and & Dragons and other fantasy games before they went into making their, their, their own games. So they did make things for other games at, at one time. Uh, this comes with a large colored plan of the setting is provided for use with 25 millimeter miniature figures. Each set also each set also maps an area together with the local history. This series builds up into complete fantasy region with an adventure setting in each area. There will be dungeons, tombs, wizards, layers, villages, towns, and more. Man, it, make, it really makes me want to get more of these sets, but I've never, I don't even, ever think I've even seen them for sale. Uh, even on a place like, uh, like, like, like eBay or, or any of the uh, like, uh, sites that sell used games. No. Dungeon Planner will save you a great deal of tedious writing and will provide you with ready-to-run adventures in hours rather than days. We do the paperwork, you have the fun. So this was actually designed by Gary Chalk. I believe the whole thing was designed by Gary Chalk. Uh, Dungeon Planner designed Gary Chalk, suitable for use with any fantasy role-playing game, game system. Caverns of the Dead. Many exciting adventures can be set in the Caverns of the Dead. What will your adventurers find in the royal tombs of Eastern Kos? Vampires? A gang of bandits? Or maybe the tomb and treasure of the legendary Orm? The tombs are fully mapped on a large, colorful play sheet for use with 25mm miniature figures. The sheet is compatible with our dungeon floor plans. More on those to come later. Uh, where was I? Dungeon floor plans allow you to extend the tombs as you wish. A booklet details the tombs together with adventure ideas. The full color Game Master's screen provides the players with a history of the area and the Game Master with encounter tables and a keyed plan of the tombs. The set is complete, completed by the color map of the area. And so if we take a look here, we have our Dungeon Master screen here, which has the big dungeon and a nice handy uh, way to use it. Very nice black and white dungeon. Then you have all of your encounter tables, tombs in current use, tombs in neglected state, activity tables. Now everything you would need to quickly run this adventure. A little history of the area. You guys can pause on the screen if you want to read that. Should get a good look at it there. All right, and then we have our fold out map. Now let's see if I can get, uh, let's see, move a couple things here. Let's see if we can get a full view of this map on the table here. Because it is a good size. It is just folded paper, but you know, it's, it's like kind of a thicker, thicker paper, card stock, if you will. All right, there we go. Now let's see here. Boom. All right, yeah. So there we have the full map of the royal tombs. Being a true representation of the royal tombs, which lie in eastern cost beneath the rock orm's finger. Scale one square, five feet, 1.5 meters. 
And so there you have your main entrance with uh, some kind of little pitogram there. Those must be like little like auxiliary or ancillary tombs or some kind of uh, place to do some kind of ancient ritual or something. But it's a nice it's a nice looking dungeon. I like it. I think it has a has a good look to it. it does lay down pretty flat if you wanted to use it. And then let's see what else we have here. So there's our dungeon master screen. And then we have our map of the region here, which is uh, Eastern Kos, the Lost Centaur Inn, the Runestone, Windrush, another Runestone, Orm's Finger, the White Mountains, another Runestone. So I'm sure the other dungeon uh, planner sets, they must, the maps must join together with that to create a big kind of campaign setting. And then here we have our little paper book that details all of the rooms and gives the dungeon master or the games master um, a better idea of how to use this adventure. This has been filled in by the person who I bought this from. No big deal. Uh, you have lots of places to write your own notes. So it's not like chock full of information, but there's probably enough to, to quickly put together an adventure and run it. So yeah, I, I need to see if there's more of these available. I bet they're super expensive. Uh, the fact that I probably haven't ever seen another one of these out there for sale should give probably give me a good indication of, uh, of the price on that. All right. And as mentioned before, we have also our dungeon rooms and dungeon layers sets. So one thing that is uh, easy to forget in this day and age is how lucky we are as gamers in terms of the component quality. Um, these were, of course, pretty old. And I mean, they are just the flimsiest cardboard. These... <laughs> <laughs> they're barely even tiles. I mean, this is just like paper. It, it basically, it's 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 barely cardstock. Now, the person that I bought this from, I got this uh, on eBay, and um, whoever owned this before me laminated all of these, which isn't the greatest, but it was the only one that was available on eBay for a price that I felt that I could pay. That wasn't incredibly outrageous but these are just some nice little tiles that you can make a dungeon out of i do wish that they had grids i know they're mainly were used for they're, they were supposed to be used for like warhammer and, and miniatures games where you weren't moving on a grid so you would be moving with a ruler what i have done though is printed out some of the um printed out on transparency now i think i've already looked at these before on my hero quest but i just thought i would group these all together my hero quest video or advanced hero quest videos i thought i would just group these all together into one video covering these games workshop um, supplements so i've experimented a little bit with printing some transparencies for these um, this is the wrong scale though i need to go a little bit bigger but you could probably you could you could get away with doing something like that if you wanted to use these for movement. This is kind of a cool tile. And then you get this nice little pamphlet here that kind of gives you um, some detailed information about each of the tiles and maybe some suggested uh, enemy stats for encounters and ways to use these tiles, different um, treasures and encounters that you will find in these dungeon layers. So cool art. I wish that my set was not laminated, but it is what it is. And then finally, I know we've taken a look at these before, but we'll just group this together in a single video. The dungeon room tiles, role-playing aid for dungeon adventures. Oh, let's take a look at these dungeon layers here. Um, Welcome to Dungeon Layers, a fantasy role-playing game made from the people who brought you dungeon floor plans. All our 
artisans have labored mightily to bring you this new set of complete monster layers for your dungeon adventures. Some of that great uh, ad copy from, <laughs> from Games Workshop always really enticing you to buy the, the latest and greatest thing from them, right? Uh, inside this box are no less than 15 ready to use monster layers for use in your adventures. The lengths of corridors to link them together. Simply cut the card sheets into individual layers and you're ready to go. So let's see, a dungeon layer booklet is specially written for dungeon layers with full descriptions and statistics of the layers and their inhabitants for Warhammer Hammer Fantasy Roleplay, allowing you to use the set straight away. Also features complete Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, random monster and treasure generation system, so you can use dungeon layers in your adventures again and again. And then these, of course, they came with uh, like horror tiles, caverns, dungeon floor plans, and here we have dungeon rooms. Take a look at the back of the box on this one. Dungeon rooms, 12 sheets of stout cardboard mm, with the following rooms and features. Welcome to Dungeon Rooms, a new concept in fantasy role-playing aids. I would hardly call this cardboard stout. Uh, it's like the thickness of maybe two regular pieces of paper. But I know I've shown these before. We'll just quickly go look through them. Um, some nice art. Some of this, I believe, was done by Gary Chalk, if I recall correctly. This is one of my favorite tiles. I love that tile. For some reason, it always reminds me of the towards the end of 1-1 uh, in uh, Demon Souls in Boletaria when you're going down that, that huge spiral staircase and fighting all of the dreglings on your way down to where you get out of the castle. That level is like permanently etched in my mind. It's, I think it's one of the all-time great video game levels. The whole castle of Boletaria really is. That would be really cool to get a 2D map of Boletaria that you could use to, to play a, a dungeon crawl in. I just thought, wow, man, they should make a they should make a uh, a uh, Dark Souls board game. It's like, oh yeah, they did. <laughs> That's how good it is. I forgot. I guess I should make a video on the Dark Souls board game soon, but or at some at at some point. But I don't really like doing videos anymore on things that I'm not into. It's just, it's not fun. It ends up making people mad and uh yeah so that's it anyway so yeah that was just a really quick look at these three sets i wanted to get all of these grouped together in a single video for archival reasons so we have three of the games workshop supplements caverns of the dead dungeon layers and dungeon rooms sorry well i hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this and we will talk to you later bye bye